<laughs> oh, yes. Nice, Red. Nice one, Jelly. Hey, it's a good one. About time. Yeah, get down the road. <laughs> Yeah, Hell that's yeah. Fine. That's on. That's what we're chasing. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's in front of me. The devil's <laughs> place. That is a big one. Almost 200 k's at the sea. I just thought I'd just film your reaction when um, I tell you that why don't you have a look at the unit we own? What? Are you serious? Catalina's? Really? <laughs> yeah, she accepted up this morning. Oh my god. <laughs> We're making it happen. <laughs> Everyone loves a good surprise. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I know stuff. <laughs> so I know a few people were asking about there's some stats on the boat. So um, we've just left Yipu, uh head north to head Pearl Bay for the night. Um, but yeah, so I mean obviously it's flat conditions, a bit of groundswell there, bugger all. So yeah, the boat's full as you can be, full of fuel, full of water, food, shit like that. So um, currently we're sitting on, we're getting a K a litre. So we're sitting on just under 50 k's an hour, 47 litres an hour, at 37, 38 revs. So yeah, really good. Um, obviously considering the weight that we carry it, you know, when we're full going somewhere, so it only gets better from there. It does get offset when we do fishing, obviously from the fish, hopefully. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty good stats. Holds 450 litres of fuel just in the tanks themselves. So, um, yeah, plenty of range just on your normal trips. I'm worried about the bladders today we're going to, uh, just to give them a run before our normal trip again this year, but uh, I just couldn't be bothered stuff around it. But we have plenty of fuel to do what we want to do for this trip. Uh, just going to go to Pearl Bay for the night. We were considering high peak, but still might to see how it feel, but we uh, probably just go to Pearl Bay and just have a bit of a look around there, a bit of a explore and park up with the Arvo and then um, head out and look for some fishing grounds tomorrow and a bit of fishing work our way home. There, yeah, just heading past Nine Mile Beach now. Popular spot for campers and stuff and um, yeah, coming up past Five Rock, so check in later. probably pink like the roughest part of our trip <laughs> to have a bit of a chat but um, we just thought we should let you know what we've been doing for the last sort of six to eight months I guess um, briefly but uh, just taking care of the uh, necessary things like life and work and all that boring stuff but um, a bit of planning coming into play now so we're hoping to have most of July and a little bit extra maybe away on the boat um, and our plan roughly at this stage is a lot more reef so exploring the swains a lot more and then coming back in and uh, doing the winter Sundays of course everything's weather dependent and we got really lucky last year so fingers crossed again that we can make it happen the 
but um, yeah, we're just getting out to uh, clear the cobwebs really for this trip. Get the boat back on the water, get us back on the water. And um, yeah, start to concrete some some plans for our trip and what's to come. So obviously if you've got any comments or want to know what we're up to or want to see some things, let us know and we'll keep, keep you up to date. We didn't stop here on our last trip last year, but this is going to be home for the night. Yeah, we get to have a bit of explore. Um, yeah, I'm going to do walk the beach, so we'll just do that. And um, a bit of sunset this afternoon, kick back, a few bevos, and um, yeah, see what it has to offer. It's a, it's a pretty well-known anchorage um, for the cruising community up the coast. Um, as you would have seen, yeah, you're coming through a, a, quite a few little small islands and rocks and stuff that, that just provides a natural anchorage and, um, I mean, it's going to be good weather anyway, but yeah, it'll be bloody beautiful here tonight, so, um, yeah, we'll suss her out. Show you guys. First time that we've actually anchored up overnight in here, so. It's just short of 100k, but 90 odd k north of Yapoon, so, um, yeah, quite easily doable for most. Most people actually, yeah, and quite a few tinnies that come up here to be honest because you hug the coast all out, come out of cry or whatever have you, so. So yeah, we're just going to have a bit of a look around, um, suss it out, see how we go. Review. Little sneaky fire, check the clouds out, it's mad. A few boats here in Pearl Bay. A couple of punters coming in late, setting up their swags and on the beach. Doesn't take much, eh? We spent a few months between drinks and. Um, Too long. <laughs> but yeah, it really doesn't take much. About two minutes in, and you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is, this is awesome. I had a little moment today, and I'm like, oh, it's also hard because. You remember, like, where you want to be, and you can't, you know, just do it every day. <laughs> fire, I got something in my eye. Fire just chooses to swing <laughs> our way for two seconds. God. Where else would you be, guys? Morning, all. It's, um, a little bit worse than what we thought. Been trucking for about an hour now. Oh no, not that long. Um, still a little bit to go, but yeah, the sun's just about to break. You wouldn't see up there, but Gills is still up there, toes up. So it's not that bad. But yeah, just that bit of nor'wester. It's a bit stronger than what they said it was going to be. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they um, get it right because it's supposed to drop throughout the day. Looking for some ground on the way out. Hopefully we don't, um, yeah, I don't really want to go as far, but maybe we'll see how we go anyway and run over something soon. So that'll be good, fingers crossed. I felt it necessary to talk about the fact that it's not always glorious. <laughs> I mean, we're out in the water, but it's rolly and a bit bumpy and pretty cool actually, but Anyway, we'll have a bit of a drop and see how we go. We're about uh, 77 metres, what's 74? 75 metres of water, so a bit of water there. I've got to...
Spin all around the place, can't play in the drift. And then yeah, Jill just got sharked and then got one another one up to the boat, which I've never I've never seen sharks here. Um. Oh, oh, oh you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This shit when you come this far, look for some ground, find something good. Shark after shark after shark. So we just run over this nice little um run over this nice little bommy there, real good shows on it. A couple of nice nannies on the first drift, so hopefully um hopefully we'll get a couple there for the box which will it's gonna redeem the day. See how we go. Getting a few little inquiries now. Still got that nice emperor. So um yeah, start to come on the chill a little bit. Still a real strong westerly, it hasn't dropped at all, so that's a bit shit, but um yeah, at least the fish are coming on the chew and we've got away from those sharks for now. So um yeah, it looks like a pretty good little mark. See if I can take a screenshot of the sounder and show you, but uh, yeah, good on you Jilly. Like a good decky on the hose. Hey, on the hose. Um, but yeah, hey, not the best esky, like not full, but some nice fish in there. Lucky too, we were getting a bit disheartened. It was a uh, the sharks and the and the wind just weren't playing the game. And um, yeah, but anyway, see how it goes. Hey, eh? finding a good little spot. Smash a few reds. Uh, a couple of yeah, a few nannies. Still got a nice amp. Another couple of jobbies and. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it puts a few fish in the esky and makes a day all worth it. Morning coffee's on board. We probably should have uh, elaborated a bit where we what we did yesterday, but 
we go back from um, when we're on our way back from from fishing there, we just decided that we'd just stay at Keppel for the night, and um, we went and had a nice feed at the hideaway there. I had ribs, and Jill had a nice big steak, and that was just um, man, just a bit of a luxury there. Something to save us having to cook, and why not? You know, a couple of sneaky cocktails at at um, happy hour. Enjoyed the sunset. The clouds been mad the last couple of days. We've got some cool photos. Anyway, yeah, some um, coffees there, and we just come around Long Beach because the um, the nor'westers. Yeah, coming in today a little bit to like 15 or 20. So us and every other, us and every other person in the Keppel area. It was pretty mad coming in here last night. Actually, we didn't get in here till probably 7:30 or something. And um, yeah, it was like a little city, you know. Anyway, I just thought I'd quickly show you. I don't know if I've even showed you the shower setup properly um, when it's been set up. Um, but yeah, so you obviously would have seen that kick-ass cover um, hanging on the back of the canopy. Um, yeah, plenty of room there as you can see and folds out. Folds out there, the shower head sits up there. Got your little spot for your soaps and stuff and just sits over that nicely. I haven't really, oh we modded the, um, the screen itself a tiny bit. I had Aaron from Keppel Bay Apostery. Um, he just put a couple little tags in there and that so we can lock it down and then it, it normally like those, um, um, straps just underneath the bottom of the rails there and it holds it all nice and tight but yeah if I can I sometimes leave it out overnight that way it can dry out because it dries pretty quick but yeah it um yeah works really well and then this is that mod I, I packed it up unfortunately I should have showed you when it was set up but this is what I did the other day but yeah so the drill canal just lives in there um, and then I'll put it a second second clip, which they both are there. Sits in there. I open her up, got one that's self-open in the spring. And then um, yeah, the so the fresh water. Fresh water's there. So literally in there, that on there and up, and then the gas hooking onto the quick release and you got hot showers. And um, I mean the beauty too last night we because we had the both water tanks full, we're only two nights, so um, first night we were a little bit sparing, but yeah, last night we just had solid hot showers for probably five minutes each. It was really good, nice and refreshing. Oh, especially after a day of fishing. Yeah. Yeah, we um, you know, didn't didn't slay the numbers. Not that we ever. I mean, I'm past that. I'm over that these days. But um, made it worth our while anyway. Tried to look for some new ground on that. Found another nice new spot, which we um, which we got those nannies and Jill got a nice emperor and. A couple more jobbies on, so more than enough for what we need, and um, yeah, and friends, family, and a few neighbours and stuff like that. So that's fine. And then um, obviously we got our trip coming up, so that was good to get a bit of a fish under our belt. And um, yeah, I'm, to be honest, I'm getting more about this these days, just chilling out. I was excited yesterday when I said, "Jill, you want to go home? We want to go to Keppel for another night." And um, she goes, "No, oh, no, Keppel, hell yeah." Yep. So yeah, it was really good. Well, um, so we're gonna just enjoy the morning here, have a couple of coffees there, and let's poke home. At our leisure. <laughs> Life's tough. Can do it on a small boat. Don't need these big boats. But I will eat my words soon. <laughs> what I didn't say about the um, shower setup that I put in in the case here is a few people were asking about the fact that yeah, it's got um, you know it's obviously hard up against that plastic there. Um, and this is just a case I bought from Bunnings. Um, it's just one of those uh, tough cases or whatever they're called. So yeah, but what I did was, I took the top off the, I took the top off the actual jilker. So this metal, this metal grill here is off the actual jilker, and you can see there loosely if you, where I cut it out. So I measured it, cut it out, and that screws on, and that still screws into the top of the jilker, but through the top of the plastic. So, um, yeah, the heat, the heat hits the metal, not the plastic itself. But like I said, we've had it run for a fair while now, and. Um, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't. Even, it, it not even plastic gets hot, so it's all good. But yeah, um, just an easier way. One thing that I have found is being in this box now, it is a little bit more cumbersome to keep. So I've got to find a hole, a uh, home for it. I've been putting it up underneath the bed, which is fine. It's just I just hate having to set shit up too much. That's why I put that in there, so it wasn't such a mission. But now I made it a bit of a mission to keep the box on me. So anyway, I'll work on that.
and um, check back in.